I want to go out here and deal with him, but I don't want like a skeleton around the corner or something, so I might have to just deal with it. And unfortunately, I don't have a bed, so I can't skip the night, but... Well, thankfully, there's no phantoms in this version. Phantoms are probably the worst addition to the game, um, besides the Java Edition logo and also the 1.9 combat. The other terrible change that they made is the 1.19.1 rep uh, player report chat system. And um, I won't go into exactly why that's a bad idea, but what I will say, though, is that, like, that's probably the absolute worst. Like, the fact that you can get banned from every single multiplayer server is kind of ridiculous. And it's not kind of ridiculous, it is ridiculous. Like, some people have been saying on, like, the feedback uh, website and stuff, or I think it was Reddit, actually, that rather than banning people entirely from all multiplayer servers, why not just ban them from only Mojang affiliated servers like like there is on Bedrock Edition? Um, thankfully, that's not a thing on these versions, and I hope it never becomes a thing on these versions because, well, whoever made that decision is just a bumbling idiot like me, and. Um, I have no qualms about calling you a bumbling idiot because you are a bumbling idiot for adding such a feature. I have been very vocal about this, um, at least personally. I haven't like I, I haven't really, I haven't really voiced my opinion opinions online because you know, the typical thing is you have an opinion online, you can get arrested for it, or L plus ratio plus you're living in whatever. Okay, so there's a skeleton out there. Oh yeah, I forgot I could like run in this version, but I have to. I can't use sh like shift because I set it to shift. Oh hey, pleasure meeting you here. Um, I kind of want to see what's going on outside, but I don't want to. I don't want to die. <laughs> if I die, then the playthrough is over. Okay. Uh, what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm just gonna. Upgrade to a stone pickaxe. Oh god. I'm actually scared. Okay. Um, let's, uh, let, let's... I'm actually kind of nervous, guys. I don't, I, I don't wanna... I don't wanna die. I wanna go out there, but... This is a hardcore world, so, like, my every move matters. Oh man, but but I love it. I love it. Um, some people might say, you know, j just play on regular survival mode. You know, you don't have to play hardcore if that's not your thing. Um, I usually don't play on survival mode, but I do play hard mode. I prefer to play hard because you know, like I I I do know how the game works. I don't know everything about the game, but I tend to have a really good survival instinct. So that's why I play on on hard, but. I don't play hardcore, because my, like, my world gets deleted, and I don't really like that a lot, but, uh... Man, you... You really... <laughs> Alright! Come here! One more time. One more time. Okay, maybe two more times. Alright, Monster Hunter! There we go. There's a skeleton around the area, but I guess I won't bother. Um, there is some experience over there, but it's not like it really matters. I, I don't think I'm going to last that long in a hardcore setting anyway. Okay. Um, while we're here, I might as well... I don't know if it's, uh, if it's worth like pushing the... How, how far it's worth pushing this back, but... Just try to sort out this area. Now... Some of the things I forgot to mention earlier is that I'm not sure, I, or actually, I am certain that we will not be going to defeat the Ender Dragon. Um, we will not be going to defeat them in this playthrough. And the reason for that is because, well, I just don't want to. <laughs> um, like, I. I I know that some people might be interested in seeing that sort of thing, you know, doing it in hardcore or whatever, 
but the purpose that that's not the purpose of this let's play. I'm calling it. I'm calling it a let's play. It's really not. A, it kind of is a let's play. It's more like a playthrough rather than a let's play. Um, I di I did used to do an original LP, but I deleted it. Uh, I wouldn't be going into it into why in this video, but okay. So that that skeleton is gonna be just out there. Hopefully, it does not bother me. But what I'm actually gonna do is just block here. For a minute, the the wolf barked, and I I thought I had a dog for a second. Um, but I forgot that I'm not in, you know, I, I, I don't actually have a dog because I don't have bones. Okay. So, I guess I should make a furnace so at least I can have some, can cook some meat whenever it is I come across some. And I'm going to make a chest so that, kind of a small chest actually. I, I, do I have enough to make? I think I do. Yeah. I'll make a large chest. So, this is what my workstation looks like. Man, I, I, I kind of want to keep here open. But I don't want that skeleton to shoot me. And my wooden sword isn't exactly appropriate to beat him. There's a spider. Oh god. Stay away from me! Okay. Um, what I'm actually gonna do is gonna put these saplings away real quick, and I don't think there's anything worth putting away at the moment, except maybe the cobblestone. But is it turning daylight? Uh. Hang on. Let me. It's gonna. Okay. So it is daylight. Um, I don't think that skeleton has despawn, or maybe he's retreated to the darkness or something. Yeah, I think I, I think I can still hear him. I'm kind of scared, guys. I'm actually kind of scared. Okay, uh, while I'm here, I will make myself a door, though. Because... Oh, oh, wow. Okay, so in this version, you don't get three doors either. You just get one. Wow. Okay. Um, interesting. I mean, I guess it's not that interesting. I mean, I, I grew up with this version, so... But, man, it's it's been that long. Okay, is there... Where's the spider? Oh, he's on top. Oh, shit! Woo! Get away from me, get away from me! I didn't know he was still hostile. Ah, oh. Man, I love the combat in this game. But I'm actually scared to death. I could die. Okay, um... I'm actually gonna clear up some of the snow around my house. Uh, I don't think I'm going to clear it up uh, elsewhere for now, because I, I like the snow, you know, I, I, I'm, it's a snowy biome, I like it. It makes you feel right at home. It, it lets you know that, you know, when you're in the snow, you're basically near a uh, safe area. Now, one of the things I didn't do is I didn't put a torch out here, and I'm actually going to put some here as well, here as well. I'm doing a lot of these, uh, I, I'm doing a lot of commentary live, by the way, um, just because I needed to sync with this, because I'm using the, I'm using the Windows 10 voice recorder thingy to, and syncing it up with the video and editing. I might cut out some unnecessary parts or just leave it as is, but, alright. Actually, I could have left it like that so I can get up and maybe fix up this house, but, uh, okay, now, current objective is to find some food, because this mode does have... It, it, it does have, uh, hunger. But I'm gonna try not to wander away too far from my house, just so I don't get lost. I can't hunt wolves, though, because y you don't get meat from wolves. You might get that in the newer versions, but I don't want to test it. I don't think you do, though. I think that'd just be too cruel. And wow, the... Jeez, that's scary. <laughs> that's... <laughs> that scared me, bro. I, I think there's... That, that, I think that typically means that there's like a... Like a cave or a dungeon or a mineshaft or something down there. Which we will be going into. Um, 
but I don't want to go there without like some sort of armor or something. And wow, my hunger is depleting very quickly. I actually heard that the hunger system was broken for many, many, many updates. So the fact that, uh, yeah, like it's going down very quickly, it's not supposed to go down that quickly. Um, now, unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any source of pigs or cows or anything like that, which uh, is bad because I need food. <laughs> so if I can please just find me an animal, that would be great. I'm actually starting to get lost now, which is bad. So what I'm gonna do... I don't want to wander off too far, which I, I, I say that as I already have. So I'm just gonna put a marker over here. And I learned this from putting, from playing the Steven Plays Let's Play. You should go and check him out. But um, if you put a marker up over here and you put some torches in the direction that you want to go, or maybe you put a sign or something. Sometimes like I put a sign, but I put torches. Um, this will basically let you know which direction to go. And the torches around the column that you see over here kind of lets you know in every direction um, where the marker is. Although you can't really see it from here, you have to kind of work. But um, I'll leave that over there. And we need to find ourselves either a cow or a pig. Oh, wow. Okay, so. <laughs> dude, 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 dude. Um, so you can. I forgot in this version, or at least for many versions actually. You can actually, instead of a shield, they didn't have a shield back then. So you, you, whenever it is that you held right click, you would, um, you would basically block with your sword. It's kind of cool. It wasn't as effective as the shield is today, obviously, but it's it was still a cool mechanic to have, though. Uh, okay, now I am starting to get lost, and the lighting here is weird. <laughs> Um, that's actually something that another thing that they haven't fixed for a long time is the, the lighting was terrible. I'm starting to get lost once again, and I don't know where my marker is, which is concerning. But hopefully, I can I can uh, do that. But I'm trying to find pigs or something that I can eat, and there isn't any pigs in the area. This may potentially be the last video. Um, oh, there's chickens. Okay, good, because I need chickens. Now the problem is, I have to make it back to my house before I starve to death. And the fact that I'm killing these chickens means that I can't breed them for later, but yeah, maybe some animals might spawn. Um, but I'm actually good. Uh, or actually, no, I, I'll, I'll do that afterwards. I, right now I'm starving. Oh, there, there goes the peaceful Minecraft music. I'm gonna stop talking for a little bit because I know some people love the music, so I'm just gonna let it play through.
That's uh, that's probably one of my favorite soundtracks in the game, by the way. But a lot of, uh, I believe his name is Daniel Rosenfeld's music is some of my favorite in pretty much any version. Still really peaceful in the new ones too. Okay, um, I guess they did change it. Um, I was gonna talk about the how the grass was different, but I guess they changed it from early on. I didn't I didn't realize I because I remember um, playing the beta versions and you know they have the crunch 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 sound while walking on the grass. But okay, unfortunately, it looks like. Uh, Looks like we can't actually find any sheep, which is unfortunate. Okay. Um, well, I guess that's just going to do it for this video. And um, I'll start recording immediately after this one. But uh, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, Obviously, I'm going to be doing more until I die, probably. Um, I'm hoping to not turn it into too long of a series, but if I can discover something like a maybe a dungeon or... I mean, we could discover a stronghold as well in this version, because strongholds were added long before um, this version came out, but um, I, I, I don't want it to drag on for too long, because then I'll just degrade the value of the overall playthrough. But anyway, thanks again, and... Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see you guys later.